Hold on. Oh, what? Ravy's got a story for us. I do. Really? <laughs> Ooh, love and Ravy's it's stories. So out of character that you guys won't even believe it. Okay. Well, it's really? in it's in character, but also very out of character. Yeah, and so okay. we can we can uh, start thinking about it now. And I don't know the answer, by the way. But the question is, how did Ravy get annoyed by her neighbor? What she says is. We'll never guess it. Right. And so all, all the guesses yeah. we got are characteristic, not yeah. uncharacteristic. So I'm thinking maybe the neighbor actually did something nice for her, and she's annoyed by that in some That is a guess way. on the text. Oh, here's that, something. that is uh, not correct. Because really? somebody was walking their cat in a stroller? See, that would be uncharacteristic. <laughs> she loves cats. <laughs> That would be very uncharacteristic. That would rule. But she'd be annoyed by the shoulder (laughs) thing. (laughs) Ravy's neighbor learned the bagpipes. Uh, (laughs) Uh, She heard them watching porn. Oh, jeez. Again, characteristic. Uh, That one neighbor (laughs) came back for his gun. Oh, yes. I did tell that story about the epic fight next door, and he said he'll be back for his gun when they repo the house. Yeah, and she was wondering whether she should have called the the cops on that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. that they have not. He hasn't been back, as far as I know. There hasn't yeah. been any fight that I've heard. Any uh, sure. any other guesses around the room? Because nice. all I can think of in my my I brain is stuff that, that would, I I know that annoys would annoy her. her. Yeah, would annoy her. Yep. The only guess I had was along the lines of somebody that's not characteristic would be like a neighbor had too many fill in the blank. I don't know what you like oranges or <laughs> not vegetables, <laughs> and they gave them to you. Yeah, but we ruled out they did something nice. So it's definitely not that. Okay. So, um, I am not hesitant to be cranky with you guys. I'm a cranky yeah. person, and I get crankier as I get older. But up until this point, I haven't really been cranky with the general public. <laughs> but like recently, <laughs> what? what? <laughs> there was that one woman in the stairwell who was wearing too much perfume, and as she walked by me, I went, Jesus Christ! <laughs> like, out loud, just like, yeah. because it was so... And, <laughs> Like, more and more of that kind of stuff is happening. Yeah. Just reacting to things, you know, and not holding my tongue or anything like that. So in my neighborhood, there's this house on the corner that doesn't really fit into the neighborhood. It's a really big house. I know. Oh, yeah. They yeah. Did a... And it wraps around the mm-hmm. corner. They do, like, a rebuild. Yeah. Yeah, so they, yeah. they bought the lot, and so the house, you know, yeah. is new construction. doesn't yeah. look like anything else. Don't they call them McMansions? It's a McMansion. Bigger. Be in like it has, but it has a really teeny tiny garage and a really teeny tiny backyard. It's super yeah. weird. They used up like every inch of the <laughs> right. land yeah. Yeah. to put house on, except you know, out by the curb and where it goes around the curb onto my street. So I walk in my neighborhood, I ride my bike in my neighborhood. And so one day, this house is gonna have landscaping done, and I'm like, oh, good, they're finally gonna make this. Little curb, curb appeal, curb appeal yeah. Yeah. for this big giant house that has no appeal, okay. right? And so when they finished, what they did, it's really even hard to describe. Like put like hard sand in there. Hard sand. So it's like you mean concrete or oh, like, no? Uh, it's what are you like, talking about? I know what you mean. It really yeah. looks like sand. Yeah, it's but it's like hard as a rock. Like DG. Um, and I know what you're talking about. And there's about. various like some plants in there. But just like, like drought, sporadic, like the uh, drought tolerant. And nah. so, great for you, decomposed granite. Yeah, maybe it's decomposed. That. Maybe it resembles I'm, fine it, gravel or coarse sand, but it's it, kind of almost like a hard pack. There you go. It's a very hard pack, mm-hmm. right? It looks like ish, <laughs> like to the point. Oh, I see it. Where I have noticed how much it looks like ish. It does look like a crappy dirt road. Yeah. Yeah. It sucks. So that's how much it sucks that I've noticed it because I'm not usually. I'm a renter. I don't care what people are doing with their yards. You know, I don't mind. Yeah. But this really sucks. Now, what? Actually, yeah. So the people use this like in a drought tolerant landscape it design. It does not look good. Yeah. So here, is this kind of what it? Uh... Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. Yes. I, I've seen that. We yes. got yeah. a couple people in my neighborhood that, have yeah. that. Uh, have that but too. But it's not well done. Uh-huh. The plants don't seem to be placed with any rhyme or reason. <gasps> There's not many of them either. It's mostly this fake concrete sand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this house still has trees and other things. So the concrete sand gets dirty. So 
We have the street cleaner that comes around every Friday. And as you say, Greg, street cleaners do nothing. It just swirls garbage around. <laughs> uh-huh. So basically what the homeowner does every Saturday, the day after street cleaning, is brings his leaf blower out oh. and blows all the garbage from the sandy rock thing <laughs> right into the street. And it is a ton of it. Uh-huh. And all I can remember is Woody, when he was taking his walks, there was that really unsightly area. Yes. And you cleaned it up, right? Yeah. Yep. And I it made... was full of what? Leaves and weeds and stuff? Yeah, it was like needles from a, um, a pine tree. Like a pine tree kind of thing. And it was, I mean, covered by like a couple inches worth all over the sidewalk. So yeah. even like the slightest bit of moisture, super <laughs> slippery. Right. It was mm-hmm. awkward to walk on. And. Clearly, it's and in ugly. a general area, right? So it doesn't belong to any particular property. But yeah. you would think, like you know, whoever's doing the HOA landscaping stuff would have at some point taken care of it. But no, no, nobody takes Woody initiative. And his <laughs> blower came and took care of that. Yeah. And you guys and gave I me well, made not fun Greg, of you, Mercy. Right. Not Greg. I still yeah. have an area yeah. in my neighborhood that I'm dying to do that, but it's nowhere near my house. Yeah, yeah. So what'd you do? So I catch him on a Saturday in the process. I'm blowing all this so stuff off the... So the streets have just been cleaned. It is the longest possible point before the streets are going to be cleaned again. Right. So there's me coming around the corner with Mr. Leaf Blower, and I'm like, why don't you just put that anywhere? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Referring to all the leaves he's blowing out in the street? Uh-huh. Right, exactly. Uh-huh. I was surprised that it came out of my mouth, but... And he looked at me and was like, what? I'm like, look, you're, I said, you're crapping up the whole neighborhood. Ah, <laughs> crapping up the whole neighborhood. Does he understand what you're even talking about yes. at that point? Oh, yeah, yes. he's in the middle Context, of doing it. Of yeah. Yeah. She didn't course. catch him on the way back from the store. He's <laughs> he's doing what she's you're complaining about. You're crapping up the whole neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, nobody cares. It's not a big deal. Like, it is a big deal. <laughs> no, how I notice it? Unsightly. And I said, I never pick up on anything. Yeah. That's, how uns- <laughs> that's how awful this is. I live in a fog. Uh-huh. So I guess his rep- rebuttal will be, He's well, in shock, really. What should I do with all the leaves in my on my stupid yeah. dirt right. road? Yeah, and this crazy woman. <laughs> and, well, and then I said, everybody around here, nobody does their own lawn or anything like that. They all have gardeners Services and everybody come in yeah. and do it. And yet, they they don't blow anything into the street. They manage to pack it all up and put it in your, you know, disposal bin, your garden clippings bin to be taken out with the trash. Sure. I'm like, just gather it up and put it in your bin. Yeah, usually you'd think he would blow it onto the street and then rake it up. Kinda doesn't, like, yeah. just leaves it. Oh, yeah, because once it's not on his property, he doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, just because on the it's street. out on the street. It is unsightly. So we have this exchange. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I'm kind of, like I said, I'm surprised at my, that I even brought it up. Uh-huh. And he's like, you just let me do what I do. <laughs> yeah, because, <laughs> oh, I mean, well, can you tell him, do you know what day of the street sweeper people come around? Yes, yeah, Friday. Friday. Every Friday. Friday f- yeah. between 8 and 10. All right, so tell him to do it like Thursday That's night. That's what I said. Yeah. I said, can't you do it do before Thursday the after street work. cleaners come? Yeah. I don't have time in my schedule. Yeah, you do. Oh, I've heard you I'm say like, that. this is a five-minute thing. <laughs> yeah. All you're doing is blowing. Right. Nothing. That's where it ended. I said, all you're doing is blowing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, have you seen uh, this person since? What's the energy like? <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. there any uh, Is there any back and forth at all? Is there looks? even like a, a head nod of acknowledgement? We or... have not run into each other oh, since. Wow. Oh, okay. And I've, been, and I've been walking that corner waiting. Is he blowing again? But he has not changed his behavior. Hmm. He's still blowing. Yeah. Here's what yeah. I suggest, Ravy. Okay. Hire somebody who perhaps doesn't care about life in general. <laughs> <laughs> Say, see, Bess. To show up on Saturday with a you know push broom and a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as this guy's done, he's out in the street, gets it all, and guess where it's going right back. Uh-huh. <laughs> and you can say, I don't, I don't know, I, I wasn't me. I, that guy's I, a weirdo. No idea. I've never seen that person no, before is. in my life. <laughs> yeah. He but, looks homeschooled though. What do he look like? Awesome. Balding. So, what? So while the crankiness <laughs> is not out of character. What I was cranky about Absolutely is out completely of out of character. That's a Greg and Woody. And the fact I that yeah, I confronted definitely. him about it. Definitely. See, now you get it. Now you now you understand us. And I, right, I, Greg? I'm so happy to hear the story. Never again and, can yeah, she give I'm us so any kind happy. of crap about and my how thought, we're pulling weeds at an intersection. No how we're blowing though. off the sidewalk around well, the corner no from my house. When I, right. when I walk the dog, I pick up random garbage everywhere. <laughs> I hate having a messy neighborhood. My thought when I got home was, oh, God, I owe Woody an apology. You do. 
<laughs> I, I'm for sorry. many things. Uh, for many things. We'll but start here. For yeah. this Yeah, we can start here. This is fine. <laughs> and the, I'll accept it. Sure. <laughs> but, I, apo- I apologize. <laughs> but now you. you started a neighbor beef with no resolution. <laughs> there well, is yeah. no resolution. That's all right. She's a renter. She doesn't care. And I gave her an out. You know, yeah. this is, this is you know what this is? This is a Ravy's little version of card narcs. Is he, <laughs> she has a, a, a legitimate beef. <laughs> yeah. Lower narcs. And <laughs> he has excuses that don't apply to the situation. Right. Yeah. And yeah. when you confront him with these excuses, he just says, well, eh. Yeah. Right. Well, you can't just blow stuff into yeah. the street and so then now yeah. leave it. Now consequences. Yeah, uh, I mean, I took care of the homeless person in front of her house, so it's your turn, yeah. Seabass. <laughs> well, he offered. 562 yeah. says uh, most cities have code requirements that uh, restrict leaf blowers expelling materials past the property line boundary. That's all well and good, but they never yeah, no it. Yeah. 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 Really I would yeah. call Look at all those letters Chow. that Greg wrote. Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. Nowadays, shoplifting is legal. <laughs> they're so not enforcing murder. Like, so it's like Greg wrote, like, was it a handwritten letter? No, it was an email. He wrote, like, this big thought out, you know, Greg style type thing, yeah. you know, very, Explaining you know, exactly what's going on. Intelligent sounding, not uh, F you and blah, blah, no, blah. He wrote like, uh, a very nice email. I codes. might have it somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And it just went nowhere. They don't care. Yeah, they yeah. don't care. They, they did pull some weeds at my urging one time. Yeah. And that was it. Uh, text here, Ravy's hitting that peak. Get off my lawn energy. Oh, I really am. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's coming around. <laughs> Yard narcs. We live in a like society. It. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Soci- it shouldn't I, be viewed as a negative. I wish I would have said that. You know, we're living in a society. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>